Kayla and welcome back to my channel for a brand new series called Gakuen Club. Gakuen Club basically means academy club, so I'm guessing it's some sort of after school club at her academy. The bit in the red banner below that I believe says something like after school secrets. Himitsu means secret and I think that middle kanji is lesson and then the one next to that is after. So yeah, I'm guessing this game is about maybe a secret club after school where there's lots of cute boys which sounds right up my alley and probably your guys's too. I found this game while browsing the app store and it didn't have any reviews yet so I was kind of intrigued to play it and see what it was all about. So yeah, let's just jump into it. This time I've named my character Kayla I because Michelle is too long for the seven character maximum and our character looks super cute and sugary so I thought it'd be a perfect name for her with her pink hair and cute purple eyes. I love when they make the heroine look so cute. Let's proceed. Gakuen Club Prologue Do you continue to wear the mask or do you destroy the mask? The choice is yours. Very mysterious. I finally made it. I go through a small door next to a large gate. I place my luggage on the ground and gaze out at the school building. So this is the school building. It's big and very beautiful. It doesn't seem like a school at all. Night begins to fall. The train I took here ran late and I've arrived here much later than I originally planned to. There's nobody around. I can only assume that most of the students are back in their dorms. Even the guard station next to the front gate I've just entered through is closed at this hour. Curtains are drawn across the windows and the room is quiet. In any case, I wonder how I was ever able to enroll in Kirika Academy. Kirika Academy is a famous school with a great history that begins long before the war. It's a co-ed boarding school where the students are divided by their grades and pedigree. Very prestigious. I had heard rumors about the school even before my transfer was decided. It's so rare for a school to be so famous. And I'm transferring here. I'm not a particularly good student and my family certainly nothing special. My current transfer is due to my father's promotion, but it wasn't my decision to come to this school. When they told me about my father's promotion, they already had decided our moving day and new school for some reason. They explained that Kirika Academy was managed by the company my father works for, but it wouldn't be that easy to get in. They say it's easier to get in if a family member or relative is an alumni. You can also enter with sports or art scholarship. But I've heard you need quite the leverage to enter without taking the normal entrance exam. I wonder if I'll be able to keep up. I guess I'll find out tomorrow. I should swing by the teacher's lounge first. As I'm gathering myself and looking at the luggage at my feet. Well, well, I don't believe I've had the pleasure of meeting this young lady yet. I look up to see a male student. He walks towards me with a smile and stops by my side. I'm startled as I haven't seen a single other person since arriving here. Oh, oh, um. Great, look what you did. Another male student arrives. Judging from his tone, I gather the two know each other well. I'm sorry if I startled you. You just caught my attention. Oh, no. I'm sorry for being startled. So, what are you doing standing there? I'll be starting here tomorrow, so I came up to greet my teacher today. I just got here not too long ago. Hmm, I see. Well, let me show you around then. Hold on, just you? You mean us, right? He picks up my luggage as he corrects him. Oh, um, I couldn't ask you to do that for a stranger. The two boys look at each other after I say this. Ah, we haven't introduced ourselves yet. I'm Rinji Kamiki. I'm a senior. I'm Yuya Yamaoka, also a senior. And you are? I'm Kayla Ai. I'm a junior. Well now, we're no longer strangers, are we? Rinji's right. It's a senior's responsibility to help out the younger students. Come on, let's go. I think you'd be wise just to listen to your elders. <sighs> yes, thank you. Thank you for your time. Thanks to them showing me to the teacher's lounge, I was able to meet with my teacher successfully. I'd also wanted to meet with the headmaster who approved my student transfer, but he wasn't in today. I wonder what kind of person the headmaster is. I hope I'll have an opportunity to meet him soon. I know I should thank those seniors who helped me earlier as well. The two seniors left soon after showing me the teacher's lounge, as they said they had somewhere else to be. I wonder if I'll see them again. I think as I remember the two seniors. Seniors take classes on a different floor, so maybe we won't get much of a chance to see each other. I know, I should check out my classroom. It's a big building, I should memorize where it is. Let's see, I take a left here. I make a big turn as I try to get my bearings. Ow, ow. I sit up and see a male student down on the floor just like me. Uh, I'm so sorry, are you okay? Watch where you're going. 
I'm sorry! He looks like a baby. I don't think you were paying attention either, Kagurazaka. A male student with glasses walks up. Oh, Takizawa, I didn't know you were here. I was just walking by. In any case, are you okay? Oh yes, I'm okay. Thank you. The boy the other one called Takizawa offers me his hand. I take it and stand up. I thought everybody not in the sport club would have left school by now. What are you doing here? Oh, um, I'll be starting school here starting tomorrow, so I thought I would check to see where my classroom was. What grade are you? I'm a junior. Hmm, then you're the same grade as Takizawa. Do you know where the classroom is? No, not yet. Takizawa, you'll be late if you show her there yourself. I think it's only fair you show her to the classroom to make up for you running into her. Oh, but it seems like you have other things to do. I'll be okay on my own. I try to decline his help as he picks up my luggage that had fallen to the floor. Uh, fine, come on, let's go already. But don't you have somewhere else to be? You don't need to worry about that. It seems that Kagurizaka will show you to your classroom. No, I won't. I just don't want her to think that I can't even do it. Kagurizaka walks off, his cheeks puffing out. Shall we go? I'm Saku Takizawa. I'm a junior, just like you. And he's Wataru Kagurizaka. Oh my gosh, Wataru! That's the name of the baby one in Brothers Conflict. Makes sense. He's a freshman. Ah, uh, I'm Kayla I. Nice to meet you. I give a simple introduction and follow them. Our footsteps echo in the empty halls. Wow, so this is my classroom. I can't contain my excitement at seeing the beautiful classroom. It's much larger than what I'm used to. It's an impressive school. I was worried at first, but I'm so glad that everyone's so nice here. The two boys had left me alone after walking to the classroom. Nobody's around. I don't think anybody would mind. The light from the sunset fills the quiet classroom. I pull out a chair and sit down. I'll be taking classes here starting tomorrow. I think I'm looking forward to it. I readjust my seat and look down when I notice a handout sticking out of the desk. Um, Sakai? Yes. What? I snap my head around to see a male student looking at me from the open door. That's my desk. Uh, I'm so sorry! I frantically stand up from the chair and take a step back. Why are you sitting at someone else's desk? Who are you? Oh, um, I'm... Oh, are you the new transfer student? The one who's supposed to be coming tomorrow? That's right. A cheerful voice suddenly chimes in. Despite my bewilderment, this one flashes me a bright smile. Our teacher mentioned it today. Oh, I'm Asahi Mitakawa from this class, and this is Toma Sakai. I'm Kayla Ai. I came to greet the teachers today, but I also wanted to look at the classroom too since I'm here. I see. I'm so happy that our new classmate's going to be such a cute girl. Don't you agree, Toma? Could you quiet down a little? I just came here to get my hand out. Oh, do you mean this hand out? Why do you have it? Oh, um... What's wrong with you? You can't ask her like that. How's she supposed to answer, right? Um, I'm sorry for sitting down at your desk. This handout was about to fall out of your desk, so I... I suppose I'll thank you then. Oh, hey, don't just leave me. All right, see you tomorrow. After they leave, the classroom is quiet again. They really startled me, but I think I'm glad that I was able to meet some of my classmates. I leave the classroom behind and head to the dorm. Ah, I think that's enough unpacking. I'll do the rest tomorrow. I'm exhausted. Despite my nervousness, I got a chance to meet with my teachers as well as a number of students, seniors, underclassmen, and even students in my own grade. It seemed like everyone had somewhere to be afterwards, so I need to make sure to thank them properly later. I met new people at my new school. I need to get used to my new life here. I check all of my school supplies for tomorrow. Huh? It's not here. I can't find the documents I received when I visited the teacher's lounge today. What am I going to do? The packet included the class syllabus as well. All of that confidence and optimism I had dangerously close to unraveling. Where could I have lost it? Did I drop it in the classroom? I might have just left it accidentally. I should go back and get it. I head out of the dorm and back to the classroom before I can really think about it further. That's strange. It's pitch black. It seems like I've gotten myself completely lost. Where am I? Wanting to get to the school building as quickly as possible, I take in a shortcut through the garden. As I make my way through the garden, I see the silhouette of a large building and run towards it. Did I head towards the wrong building? I realize that the building in front of me is unfamiliar. I'd seen the building layout at the campus of the new school pamphlet, but I had only visited the new school building today. This isn't the building I was in this evening. This is more like a huge hotel. If I could at least run into someone, I could ask for directions. But there's nobody to be found. The only sound I hear is the rustling of the surrounding trees. The trees cast a dark shadow and everything around me is pitch black. I can't even see the moon through the branches. I have to squint to make out anything. What am I gonna do? Maybe I'll follow the path I came from. I can't just stay here. I think of a new plan of action as I stand there.
Someone's here. Maybe they'll tell me how to get to the school building. I look towards the sound of the footsteps and see someone opening a door to the building. Please, wait! But the person enters without hearing me. When I arrive in the front of the building, the door is looming there quietly. Is this a key? Did that person just drop this? I pick up a golden key. It's designed rather archaically, with numbers engraved on it. It's not something you see these days. If this person dropped this key, they're surely going to want it back. I have to go after them. I enter the building to follow after them. There's a big, dark space inside. I see a ceiling that reaches the second floor, a staircase and large doors. Where did that person go? My faint murmur is quickly absorbed by the high ceiling of the dark room. But I know they're somewhere inside this building. There's a door on each side of the wall, and a thin silver of light pierces through the crack of the one in front of me. Maybe this way? I approach the door as if drawn by the faint light and softly touch the door. My feet hit something. I pick up something from the floor. A mask? What's this doing here? The finely detailed mask is made to cover the top half of a face, and the stiff feel of it makes me feel uneasy. A strange place, a strange mask, and I'm all alone with nobody else around me. I swallow down my fear as I find myself in this unusually spooky situation. I think about turning back when the door in front of me begins to open slowly. I squint as light from the opening door begins to pour into the dark room. I timidly peer into the next room and see something I never would have imagined. I see under a dazzling mirror ball many people talking to each other, all wearing masks. What is this place? Is this not a school? What are they doing here? So many questions swirl inside my head as I look on at this curious sight. Unable to think, I find myself standing there frozen. Hi, I thought I recognized you. What a cute guest we have. One of the boys I just met today is staring at me without a mask on. Oh, you're a senior. Renji, that's not the point. What are you doing here? I see. I'm sure the darkness must have been quite scary for you. There are so many large trees around here. He tells me that this building is the old school building and not the new one I wanted to get to. It's supposed to be off limits. He tells me he will show me to the new school building later. After hearing all of this, I feel a little reassured. The old school building. I do see some reliefs on some parts of the walls, and the door and window frames seem to be a bit retro. As we talk, I no longer feel the nervousness I had felt when I first arrived. I'm gradually feeling more at ease. About this key you picked up. I don't know where to begin. This gathering place is reserved for only certain special guests the school chooses. Special guests? This school has quite a few prominent alumni. Those alumni and school officials are the guests here. But only exceptionally successful graduates are invited to come here. They wear masks to protect their identities. The rule here is that what happens here stays here. There's no prying to who you are. That's why this is a secret club. Secret? A secret club that's been going on for a long time that no outsider can know about. That is this academy's club. No one can know about it? But I just found out about it. I feel worried when I hear that this is all supposed to be a huge secret. It may have been a coincidence, but you did wander in this old building when we were just looking for new help to lighten our workload. Help? Um... We need you back out there. It's getting pretty crowded. Mr. Kamiki and I can't really handle any more on our own. I can tell by the urgency of his voice and how quickly he left that things are quite hectic. It seems we must keep things brief. We actually work at this club. Oh, not for money, of course. Something more important. Although we have our own reasons, it basically comes down to the fact that we want to network with the alumni. <laughs> you don't beat around the bush, but yes, that's pretty much how it is. A few students are chosen to be hosts. We're not quite sure what the selection criteria is yet. A secret club chosen by members of a secret organization. Pretty cool, right? Minakawa, we're not doing this for fun. Making connections with these influential people can help us achieve our dreams. The members intermittently select students to become hosts. The benefit we get is the opportunity to interact with the guests. There's no way I'm not going to secure a huge connection while I'm here. Ah, uh, I see. I think I get the picture, but I'm not fully sure. These student hosts must have their own reasons and motivations. We should be getting back to our banquet all soon. Come on, come with us. While I understand the situation now, I still don't know what's going to happen to me. So, um, what am I? We'd really like you to help us out with the club behind the scenes. Help? What is that, um... What? Don't you get it? You found out about the secret club. You really thought we'd just let you leave? We're all busy handling everything in the banquet hall. It'd be great if you could help us out in the kitchen or something. But... But... When you find out a secret, it's only natural that you'd be let in. Sorry, but we're counting on you. Uh, while his demeanor is gentle, I can tell by his smile that he won't take no for an answer. 
The golden key you picked up is actually for guests. I will return it to them as their number is on the key. This is yours. He places a silver key in my hand. That's a key to the back. That's the door for all the staff members. Ah, there you are. While you'll be helping out in the back, we still need to introduce you to the guests. Come with me. What? Introduce? Everything is happening so fast. I was just coming to get the packet I left accidentally, and then I got lost and found myself in the closed-off old school building in the secret club. My life has suddenly changed. I figured it would since I'm transferring to a new school, but certainly not this much. Oh, wait! He gently escorts me by the hand, but to my surprise, I'm unable to break free. We turn from the dark entrance. I squint as we enter the bright hall, and I see that everyone is looking at me. Welcome to Academy Club. Prologue end. Oh, this is so exciting. I like the premise a lot so far. All right, and it looks like we can select a character from here to continue on with this story. We have Asahi Minakawa, Toma Sakai, Saku Takizawa, Wataru Kagurazaka, Rinji Kamiki, and Yuya Yamaoka. Uh, it's so hard to choose because we didn't really get to know too much about anyone in particular. I'm kind of drawn to Saku Takizawa though and Toma Sakai because I do prefer the quiet types. But let me know in the comments below who your favorite character is or who you think I should play and I will use that to help within my decision making. I thought about doing a Twitter poll for this one but there's just too many characters and I didn't want to cut off any of the characters since there aren't any that I truly dislike. So I will be basing it off of YouTube comments this time. And I hope you guys are excited for the start of this new series. I know I am, and I'll talk to you guys next time.